Was geht zu? It's the Warriors music! It's the ultimate warrior! It is! Look at that! The ultimate warrior! What is he doing? Is he going to attack Hogan? What is going on here? Close line! So wide receiver Brandon Powell, he came out to the media basically saying, The Bears cornerback secondary was trash, wasn't good. That the Vikings just played a bad game, had a bad offensive performance. Well, Brandon Powell, I get it, big dog. I kind of get your drift. But at the end of the day, y'all was on lock, dog. Yeah, the receiving core not only was on lock versus them scandalous Bears. Y'all was on lock versus them Broncos, baby. Games prior, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I understand Brendan Powell's frustration. Should they have had a better performance? Yes. Joshua Dobbs, the receiving core, all that, all y'all. But at the end of the day, wide receivers for the Vikings, especially the last two, three weeks, getting open, giving the quarterback a body to throw to, uh, it hasn't been there, Brendan Powell. Heavy, big dog. No disrespect. I'm just stating the facts. It hasn't been there, bro. Where have you been? Where was you at versus the Bears? That's how you get frustrated on the sidelines, rip a dude's helmet off. That was kind of foul play, but I don't give a damn. It's the Bears. Get it in. But Brendan Powell, at the end of the day, you were on lock. How many receptions did you have versus the Bears versus the Broncos, big dog? Now, I think you're better than KJ Osborne. No disrespect to KJ. And you came in and done your job and then some in this offense. You've played above expectations uh, some games, week in, week out, it's not consistent, but you've been a major role in some big comeback wins, big drives. Can't take that from you, bro. Love your heart, love your fight, your will, your determination, the underdog. Love to see the underdog win. But Brandon and Powell, ask yourself this, homie. Do you need to contribute more? Not only you, <laughs> Jordan Addison, KJ Osborne, Justin Jefferson is back this week. Much needed, much needed, because we see how the offense runs with and without him. We've seen enough to, it is very evident, right? Justin Jefferson is the best player on the team. It's no Vikings without Jettas. The offense goes, moves through Jettas, at least it should. And once again, no disrespect to no other players. Big Hawk, TJ Hawkinson, Osborne, Addison having a great rookie season. But at the end of the day, we see clearly, vividly, Justin Jefferson is missed, much needed on this offense. You understand? Now, the first couple weeks, three weeks, the offense looked good. It was rolling. It was moving. Kevin O'Connell was dialing it up, even though he needs to step his game up. Oh, yeah, I'll get it to him later. He needs to step his game up, baby, right? We've seen him uh, get complacent, man, get scary, coach scary, right? Be passive, not be aggressive in the second half, fourth quarter especially, dog. <laughs> so he's not absolved from any other blame. But at the end of the day, your receiving core has been locked up, dog. Brandon Powell, you've been locked up, bro. You, Osborne, and Addison. Addison dropping passes, balls tipping off his hand, creating interceptions. Now, I understand Joshua Dobbs had a bad game versus the Bears. Trash ass. 1,000. 1,000, huh? No debate in that. We know what it is. He got to step his game up as well. But like I say, it starts with KOC putting him in the best position to win. And if he does that and still fails badly, Get him out of there. Get him out of there, baby. That's part of the business, part of the game. Heffy. Then you look at Jaron Hall. You may look at Nick Mullins, but I'd much rather see Jaron Hall than Nick Mullins, but that's a different video, right? <laughs> but Brandon Powell, since you feel a certain way, you feel like the offense didn't perform well, didn't play to your best abilities, well, go prove it versus the Raiders, Brandon Powell. You, KJ Osborne, Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkinson, he been on lock too. Huh? Now you got Jettas back. No more excuses. Jettas can be used as a decoy. Jettas will open up opportunities for you, Jordan Addison, and KJ Osborne. So I ask you this, Brandon Powell, since you feel away, what you gonna do about it, big dog? You gonna step up to the challenge or you gonna bow down, huh? Yeah, I said it. You gonna step up to the challenge or you gonna bow down, big dog? <laughs> That's the big question. You can go to the media, social media, talk, cat, yap all day. But what did your performance 
on the field, bro? Can you be consistent? Can you put up numbers week in, week out? Because guess what? That's what elite players do. That's what elite Super Bowl contending championship teams do, bro. I don't care what your role is, huh? Second string, back up, first string. You understand the three, the four receiver, everybody needs to contribute. Look around the league. The top teams, somebody always contributes in some way, dog. No matter what position, superstar, very good, average, elite, whatever, bro. That's the NFL, huh? Do you have over, over, all around good team? So, Brendan Powell, I get you mad. I get you was frustrated. I get it. The Bears, they shouldn't have held your jock shot. Y'all had a bad game. Bad coaching translated to bad performance on the field. I get it, big dog, but hey, playoffs on the line, season on the line. Every game moving forward is damn near a must win. Packers creeping up, huh? Rams creeping up playing good football. So, Brandon Powell, I ask you this, big dog. What do it mean to you, huh? What point do you have to prove not only you, but Jordan Addison and KJ Osborne, huh? <laughs> How long you going to be on clamps, baby? Clamped up. Can y'all boys get open? Can y'all boys step up to the table, dog? Step up to the plate and perform, bruh. Heavy. <laughs> so I understand your frustration, but kill that noise, bruh. Go prove it on a field. Go prove it on a football field, dog. Starting with them fluky Raiders, yeah. Them fluky ass Raiders, bruh. Important game. An important game all around, dog. <laughs> if I can the sixth seed, right? If the playoffs started today, y'all would be the sixth seed, huh? You gonna keep that spot and potentially move up, or y'all gonna lose and drop down? Packers on your ass, Rams on your ass, huh? Seahawks still in the mix, huh? Bucks in the mix, huh? So let's get it, Brandon Powell. Step up, big dog. As well as KJ Osborne, Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkinson, and even Justin Jefferson, baby. <laughs> We're gonna really see if y'all bout it, bout it, fool. Huh? You dig me? You get my drift? That's my take, my opinion on it, man. And once again, shout out Brandon Powell, underdog story. Keep rocking, keep playing ball, dog. But it's time to step up and elevate heavy. Let me know how you feel about the video. You like it or not. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, huh? So you know when I'm on the rock and roll. And baby, takes less than one second. Let's get it. Score Vikes forever. <laughs> 1,000. 1,000, huh? Yeah. <laughs>